I want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. I didn't think I would make this video this soon because, you know, Notion, the software I use to organize most of my life, is pretty solid. And then I found a ClickUp ad on YouTube and I was like, well, it's my job to go see if this thing is good or not and then make a video about it. I was prepared to sign up for a monthly subscription just so that I could check this out and write my opinion on this app and I was surprised to find that ClickUp actually has a pretty solid free version, very comparable to what Notion is currently offering for free. So everything you are seeing here today is footage taken from the free version of the app, not the paid one. The thing is, ClickUp is quite good actually. I was very surprised by the fact that it imports most of Notion's main features and then builds up from there and actually accomplishes something different. But the thing is, can ClickUp actually replace Notion? I'm going to walk you through the basic features so you can find out for yourself. ClickUp is a mesh of a database with a task management interface. Let's start with your database. For a similar look and feel to Notion's interface, you can manage most of your information via docs, which you can access at the bottom of your toolbar. Just like in Notion, ClickUp's docs are modular and can be divided into different pages and subpages that are easily organized in the left sidebar. These can then be customized with icons and reorganized via click and drag, much like Notion. These docs can then be linked and attached to particular tasks in your task management interface, but more about that later. Basically, ClickUp docs are great to place long-running information that isn't assigned to a specific time frame. It can also be used as your major wiki or knowledge database because it does incorporate a pretty much seamless and simple interface that makes adding info very easy, as well as reorganizing it as you need. In a sense, Docs is like having Notion built inside ClickUp. You can embed a lot of different things inside the same page, as well as other external Docs from Google and even YouTube videos. If you want to be super fast, you can also type in the commands instead of hand selecting them. Ok, now that Docs are out of the way, let's talk about task management, and this is where ClickUp shines. The main principle in ClickUp is that tasks are arranged in spaces. Each space is like a category for a specific set of tasks. In my experimental setup, I divided my tasks into personal, work and YouTube. I assigned each one a different color and icon and then started subdividing those into smaller, more restricted categories. These will be simply called lists. Each one is, well, a list of tasks you need to complete. Creating lists with ClickUp is great. Although you can mimic some of these features by using tables in Notion, which is something that I've done in the past and I still do, ClickUp just embeds a lot of very useful tools inside their task interface. And that makes life really simple for you. For instance, you can immediately assign a due date as well as priority level. You're also able to classify some of your tasks as subtasks, as well as create more columns with more data depending on the input. In a way, tasks are always assigned in a table format. After they are completed, you can archive them or simply rename or change the details in case you need to recycle that task for other purposes. Each list also has different modules, so you're able to click and drag them according to completion date or other property of your choice. Because of this, you can even create presets for these lists in case you don't want to recreate the same template multiple times. So in my view, ClickUp is a winner in terms of task management. However, this is not where ClickUp ends. There are other two good add-ons in ClickUp. First, you have a notification window which basically lists overdue and future tasks, like a general to-do list for every task that was assigned a date. Secondly, you have the ability to create your own dashboard from zero, where you can add a lot of widgets with useful information. However, most of those widgets are paid options that you get only if you purchase a paid business subscription. Speaking of paid subscriptions, one of the things that drew me to ClickUp in the first place and got me really excited was the fact that they mentioned the app added a calendar function that synced with Google Calendar as well as other calendar services like iCal and Outlook. However, I tried it out and I really found it very disappointing. 
iCal and Outlook only work one way. So that means that you'll see in those calendars what you'll create in ClickUp, but you'll not be able to export what you had in those calendars to ClickUp, which makes this function pretty much useless to me since I don't want to manually insert everything I have in my calendars to ClickUp. Google Calendar supposedly works both ways, by creating tasks synced as events and then any changes will be reflected in both platforms, but I still find that this doesn't work very well for me. I mean, maybe I'm doing something wrong, that's true, but at least it's not as seamless as I would like it to be, considering they mention it's a full calendar sync. Independently of the lack of full-fledged calendar features and sync options, ClickUp does better in terms of time management. Notion has a very simplified approach to time management by allowing you to set inline reminders and insert dates into your tables, but ClickUp is more geared towards assigning tasks to time and scheduling them properly. Even if you can definitely use Notion to work around its limitations, ClickUp does a better job in implementing those time management options directly into its main features. There's also a lot of customization options within tasks. You can set priority, time, notes, progress, team types, subtasks, and attachments. I've written the notes for entire meetings in here while I was trying out ClickUp, and it works perfectly. It allows you to compile all relevant information in one place only. ClickUp also has some cool automation options in a if this then that format. For instance, you can state that when your task status change, your assignee also changes automatically. When you move a certain task to a different location, you can set it up to automatically change priorities and so forth. In general, automations is a game changer if you're working with a lot of tasks and have a difficult workflow, because setting up those automations will ensure that your processes don't fail because you just forgot to categorize, prioritize or move a task. So here's the deal. Overall, ClickUp is flashy and looks great, but I find that it really feels overwhelming in comparison to Notion. I think that Notion did a great job in really finding what was at its core, while ClickUp plays around with a lot of different elements, and that may not be what you're looking for. It takes longer to learn and the interface is not very user-friendly when compared to Notion. However, when you do learn it, I think that ClickUp is more powerful and the organization options in Notion are subpar in comparison. Also, ClickUp has a solid free version that can be used everywhere. I've been using the web browser to explore it, which means you can access it in any device or computer of your choice. It also looks really good and the automations feature is a winner if you're working with a complex database of tasks or engaging in a complex project. Overall, task management works like a breeze. Although it has a steeper learning curve, and document creation is actually pretty good too, as it mimics Notion's general template. That said, I'll keep on using Notion for now. And that's because I really like how simple it is and my whole life is basically organized and stored in there right now. Also, I'm going to use a paper planner for timed tasks and other scheduled events in 2021, so I wouldn't really end up using ClickUp where it shines. However, I do think it seems to be a strong rival to Notion, and I'm really curious to follow future updates and who knows, maybe I'll switch somewhere down the road. And if you need help finding and building your passion project, and then use Notion or ClickUp to organize your tasks, you can watch this class right now on how to go freelance and build and brand your own success. If you want to watch the whole thing, which covers the basics of side projects, marketing, networking, and business fundamentals, all you have to do is sign up for Skillshare to watch this class during your free trial. You usually have those online courses for like more than 100 bucks for one or two hours of classes, and then you have Skillshare, which gives you access to its entire library of thousands of classes for less than $10 a month. And even if you're not willing to start paying that price per month, that's actually not a problem because for a limited time, the first 1000 people using the link in my description box will get you a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. Using this promo code also tells Skillshare that you came from my channel, which is always nice if you enjoy this content and want to keep supporting it. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you next week. Bye guys!